Hello, I'm Tom, and thank you for purchasing one of our MP90 Isle of Wight Group centrifugal oil separators. I'd like to welcome you to our training video today, where I'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide as to how to clean and service the unit. The first thing to remember is that before dismantling or working on the separator, we must turn off the high-pressure oil supply. Therefore, we must either use an isolation valve if there's one fitted, or alternatively, make sure that the engine is switched off or the piece of equipment. First thing to do is to remove the band clamp, so untighten in an anti-clockwise direction. When loose, you can remove the T-bolt from its housing and drop the band clamp down. We can then, with a little twist, remove the cover assembly and finally, remove the bowl assembly. To drain the oil, you might need to just lift slightly for a few seconds so that the oil can leave the bowl assembly and place in a dirty location. We're now at the stage where we're gonna disassemble and clean the bowl assembly and we need some tools to do the job. We've got a couple of spanners, a hook tool, a wooden, or nylon spatula and a mallet. The first thing to do is to lie the bowl assembly down, get your spanners, now the MP90 has a right hand thread so untighten to remove using spanner and untighten the cover nut. Okay, remove the cover nut. If the washer doesn't come, we can just take our mallet, hold on to the top of the bowl wall gently, and tap the bearing tube until the distributor plate and bowl discs come apart. We can now take the top turbine after giving a gentle, a gentle hit with the mallet. Okay, we now have the, the bowl wall and we can remove the mesh on the top, which is to be discarded. We now have all three main parts separated, ready for cleaning. Okay, we have our distributor plate, which is dirty, so we need to use our tool, our spatula, just to clean away any sludge cake and carbon deposits. If the sludge has gone down between the distributor impeller, you may need to just lift up in which case you can take the bowl discs off and just lift up gently the impeller before cleaning. We can now wipe with a clean cloth, if need be a little bit of lubricant or clean oil, just to help the process. There's no need to clean individually the bowl discs, and they don't even need to be removed unless the sludge has gone under the distributed impeller or has gone into the, the discs themselves. We now need to clean the top turbine Give a white round. One very important factor is to check that the nozzles aren't blocked. One of the best ways to ensure these are clean is by using a source of compressed air. And finally, we need to remove the main sludge cake from the bowl wall. So use our, our spatula 
either wooden or nylon to get behind the paper insert and just push behind the paper liner all the way down to the bottom of the wall. Do the same on the opposite side, making sure you get behind the paper liner and just ease it away from the, the base. You should then be able to just use your hands to remove the paper and the dirt cake in one piece. If there's any more dirt in the bottom, you can tip this out. Just wipe round and we need to just check that the O-rings are in a good condition, making sure that they're sitting nice and tight, they're not brittle and there's no cracks or damage, both on the top of the bowl wall and also on the bottom of the distributor. If there's no damage, then they don't need to be replaced. Secondly, one of the other things to check actually is the bearings. Ensuring that there's no scoring or damage to the top bearing or the bottom bearing. That's now all disassembled and you can now continue to, to clean to make good as you wish. We're now reassembling the clean bowl assembly. First thing to do if we've taken any of the O-rings out or we're replacing them with new, we use a little bit of silicon grease and insert into the groove in the distributor plate. We now take the distributor impeller, place over the bearing tube and just find the location slots so it sits down. We replace the bowl discs if we remove them. We can do these a few at a time. Gently press down and twist until you find the notches. The disc stack is now back on the bearing tube. At this point, it's very important to check that the discs are level with a step on the bearing tube. If the discs are a little bit lower, then we need to replace or add an additional disc. If we remove the O-ring from the top of the bowl wall, we now need to replace, put a little bit of grease on. And reseal and check. We can now put a new paper liner inside the bowl wall. Just squeeze it and then slide in. Turn the bowl wall over and now we need to put a new mesh screen ensuring that the coarse side is facing up. You'll see the difference between the two sides. We now have the bowl all ready to place on the distributor. Place the bowl wall over making sure it's square on the o-ring and then push down. Just make sure it's down all the way around and the o-ring is not escaped. We now need to just add the top turbine. And again, make sure it's square on the o-ring before pushing down. And you hear the click when it goes in. And again, check that the o-ring is concealed. Finally, we can replace the washer and the bowl cover nut and tighten. We need to lie it down and then use our spanners and sockets again. Nice and tight. So there's no leakage areas. We've now cleaned and reassembled the bowl. Now it's ready to go and reassemble into the housing. Firstly, we replace the bowl assembly. 
into the housing. Just give it a little spin to make sure it's rotating freely. Next, we replace the cover, making sure it's secure. And finally, we replace the band clamp and tighten. OK, the separator is cleaned and reassembled, and it's ready to be turned on again. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been useful. If you have any further questions or queries, you can refer to our installation and servicing manual. Or don't hesitate to contact us here at IW Group.